All right, here's a quick uh, video to show what I was talking about in regard to auto registration versus manual registrations with the ETA database. Um, as you can see, there's a few phones here. Some of them have MAC address and serial numbers. Others don't have any. And the ones that have the MAC address and serial numbers are ones that um, auto registered and ones that do not are ones I manually created. So just to show you, um, I have another uh, 8961, which you should see on your screen. And I've already set this up with the ETA uh, application. And when I press it, as you can see, it just, it doesn't do anything. It just um, flashes for a second and disappears. This is the same thing that happens on the 9971 and 9951s. So what we'll do is manually create it. And uh, to do that, we'll click on Create and put in the directory number so this one's 2223 and the IP address is 192 oh, it's already in here 192.168.20.114 and then for the model I will choose 8961 and hit save um, and then this generates a, a base uh, database for it but you can see there's no modules associated with it so we'll click edit then we'll come down here and select the modules that we want it to have access to and then hit update. Now when you hit the ETA button it'll bring up the choose your application and you can go through and start configuring. So uh, just wanted to point that out and then one other note is on the <clears throat> let's see, let's go back to the phones. On these, the 7921 and 7925, even though these auto register just fine, the XML applications get a parser error. So even though these auto register, it doesn't work at all. Um, and then, like I say, with the 89 and 9900 series phones, it works, but it just doesn't auto register. You have to manually build them. So other than those few little quirks, uh, they've been working pretty well. So. Hope that's been helpful and thanks for watching.